Hello, it's Gary Gibbons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a nature sound design preset. I'm going to go to the Select Sample icon here and click. Inside of the Patch Up Sample folder, I'm going to go to the subfolder 04 Nature FX, and I'm going to load the sample called Rain. For this preset, I'm going to use long grains, so I'm going to change the duration value from 1 to 1000. Okay, when I play C3, the sample fades in and fades out. To get the whole sample to play back from the beginning to the end, first, I'm going to change the number of grains from 1 to 2 and play C3 again. Okay, that's better, but now it's not playing the whole sample, so I'm going to change the playback speed from 0% to 100%. Okay, that's how I want it to sound. Next, I'm going to go to the amp envelope and change the attack time from 0 milliseconds to 2,345 milliseconds. Okay, so by doing this, the sample will fade in. And now I'm going to go to the release time and change the value from 1,000 milliseconds to 5,000 milliseconds. Now I'm going to lower the volume of this layer. So I'm going to go to the level parameter and I'm going to change the value from 0 dB to minus 2 dB. I'm going to turn off layer A and turn on layer B. And I'm going to go to the select sample icon again. And inside of the same folder, I'm going to pick the sample called Thunder. I'm going to set the layer AB mix value from A100 to B100. For layer B, I'm going to use long grains. So I'm going to change the duration from 1 to 1000 and play C3 again. Now we need to change the number of grains to 2 and the playback speed value to 100% to achieve the same result as layer A. Now I'm going to go to the pitch random parameter and change the value from zero to six semitones to get some variation in the pitch when the thunder is playback. Now I'm going to spread those two grains by going to the position spread parameter and changing the value from 0 to 25%. Since this sample fades in at the beginning, I'm not going to change the attack time at the amp envelope section but I'm going to change the release time to 5,000 milliseconds. So that's the same release time setting as layer A. Okay? I now want to raise the level of this layer. I'm going to turn the level value up that is located in the amp envelope section from 0 dB to 8 dB. Now I'm going to play both layers. At the layer AB mix, I'm going to set the value to M so the mix can be evenly set to the middle. Then I'm going to turn on layer A here. To make this preset more playable, I want to use the mod wheel to control the layer A B mix values. So 
I'm going to place my pointer over top of the layer AB mix and right click. Then I'm going to move my pointer down to the modulation wheel and then click Enable Mod Wheel. I'm going to change the settings to A100, then right click over top of the layer AB mix again, then move my pointer down to the modulation wheel, then select Set Minimum. Now I'm going to set the value of the layer AB mix to M, then right click over top of the AB mix again, move my pointer to modulation wheel, then select set maximum. Now when the modulation wheel is not activated, the mix value is A100. And now when I activate the modulation wheel, the AB mix is set to M. Okay, so that's all of the programming that I need to make for my preset. So next, all I need to do is save it. Okay, so my preset is saved. And now to show you this preset being used, I have created a short, dark, ambient composition that uses seven instances of Pad Shop. And that includes the preset that I just created called Rain and Thunder. Okay, so let's have a listen. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.